When you're reverse engineering and you're looking for something specific, the very first two things you should do is check the strings and check the runtime type information. We should all be familiar with what symbol names look like. Before our tools demangle these symbol names, they look something like this. Now what if I told you that there are classes which have symbol names that are just like that? Well that's what runtime type information is. Runtime type information is a mechanism that allows the type of an object to be determined during program execution. It's typically only embedded in binaries that are created with Microsoft Visual Studio, but other compilers also allow that capability. Now, RTTI will only exist for classes with VTable functions. The purpose is so that the program to dis can distinguish between derived and parent classes. If it's just a regular object of a regular class, the compiler knows what offsets are where and what functions are where. It's only in the case of an object which is trying to call a virtual function, it needs to know at which level of inheritance is it derived so it can call the correct vtable function. So if your class does not have vtable functions, you will not find it in Class Informer or in RTTI in general. If you want to learn more about RTTI, you can look at Wikipedia. Now, you can turn off uh, runtime embedding, RTTI embedding in your binary by using this compiler flag with Visual Studio. So if you're an intelligent game developer and you don't want cheaters to easily hack your game, then you would definitely disable this. So the tool we're going to be talking about today is Class Informer. Most of you will have seen it in most of my videos. I do use it because it's incredibly easy to use and it makes your job so much easier. There are many different versions between IDA 6.6 .6 up to IDA 7.2 and 3. There are different types you can download. Um, their main thing is SourceForge. You can find a version for 7.0 on GitHub. There's a version for 6.8 here. There is the gentleman behind Hexrays. His name is Igor. He has a post telling you about how the RTTI parsing works. You can find slides that he did at Recon 2012 that tell you all about it. This is what the format kind of looks like and how he parses it. If you'd like to learn how to parse it in C++ and Python, uh, Sambo recently posted two source codes for doing it in C and doing it in Python. Now let's go into IDA and let's look at some strings. These are just regular strings, but you'll notice these symbol names are not are mangled still. I uh, just did a search for at, and these are actually the RTTI symbol names, okay? So Class Informer is super easy to use. Just download the plugin and drop it into the plugins folder. You're going to go to edit, plugin, Class Informer, run it, and then this is going to be your output. It will list you the number of vtable functions, the address of the vtables, the type, and the hierarchy, meaning the inheritance level. So this makes it really easy. Let's see. Let's see if we want to do some gun, right? Okay, we want to look at the assault rifle. We can double click it, and that brings us to our V table. And these are all the V table functions listed, and it shows us uh, the inheritance level. So this is an assault rifle, which inherited from gun, which inherited for weapon. So this makes it very easy to find all the different things you're looking for. It is an absolutely irreplaceable tool. The first thing I do on every program is I look at strings and then I run Class Informer. Once you're in here, you can start reversing different functions and renaming them, and then you'll get a better idea of what you're looking at. In addition, when you see uh, in the decompilation and in the disassembly, when you find things that are accessing that V table, you're gonna see it uh, implanted right there. As you can see, this makes reverse in engineering anything extremely easy. So if you are not using this tool, you need to start using it right away. So in this case, maybe I want to find the traceline function or, or maybe how to find the decrement ammo function. I would go into Class Informer, search for gun, look at assault rifle, and then right here, I was able to find the shoot function uh, and the trace two traceline functions with relative ease. This isn't really much of a tutorial. It's more of a recommendation that everyone should be using Class Informer. So go download it and try it out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.